Hello, my name is Kevin Nicholson. I'm the Director of Therapy Services at Fiber Rehabilitation Hospital in Amarillo, Texas. Today I'd like to talk to you about a couple of the more common orthopedic diagnoses that we see in our rehabilitation hospital. Now when we talk about orthopedic diagnoses, the word orthopedic really just refers to bones or joints. Um, two of the more common that we see are total hip replacements and total knee replacements. When someone has a total hip or total knee replacement, many times, in fact probably most of the time, they're going to be just fine to return home from the hospital after the surgery. However, for some people, complications can arise following the surgery. This, these complications can hamper their, their recovery and those that have had complications are often the ones that we see referred to our rehabilitation hospital because quite frankly they're just not ready nor are they safe to return home. For those people treatment becomes more than just exercises to improve the function of the muscles of the hip or of the leg or exercises to improve range of motion of the knee. The focus, the focus must shift to ensuring that the patient is actually going to be able to function within their home. Sure, it's important to improve the strength of the surgical leg by performing traditional exercises. Um, and in fact, whenever the patients are here in our rehabilitation hospital, some of those exercises like laying on, them, on their back on the bed or on the treatment table in the therapy gym, we may incorporate those exercises. However, the critical question then becomes, what good is improved strength if a patient is unable to, say, squat to reach pots and pans in a low drawer in their kitchen when they get home, or if they're unable to walk up and down the, uh, their countertops to prepare a simple meal? So improved strength without improved function sometimes is meaningless. Um, in order to address these functional needs, the therapist at Vibra Rehabilitation Hospital in Amarillo will incorporate exercises and function all at one time. A good example of this is exercises to strengthen and improve control of the front thigh muscles, what we refer to as the quadricep muscles. For people that have had a total knee replacement, the ability to control the knee in standing in a weight-bearing position is critical. So, for example, we may start those patients on an exercise such as a standing mini squat. So we start to build the patient's confidence in their ability to move with their feet planted on the floor, maybe even without their walker or any other supportive device. Um, once they've got to a point of increased confidence with performing the mini squat in this example, we may then have them start to perform things such as uh, a low-level squat to pick an object up off of a tabletop or um, off of a low table in their room, trying to mimic a home setting, something they may be encountered with in their home environment uh, once, they've once, the once they've reached their maximum level of improvement. So, it's more than just improving strength and range of motion of their, of their leg if they've had a knee or a hip replacement. We have to address function and we're very able and very well equipped to do that here at Vibra Rehabilitation Hospital in Amarillo.